Over the last 30 years, advancements in technology have led to some truly revolutionary breakthroughs in the treatment of infertility. One of the most successful and most popular treatments is in vitro fertilization, or IVF for short. As you may already know, IVF involves the extraction of mature eggs from the ovaries, which are fertilized and grown into embryos in a laboratory, then transferred back to the uterus for gestation. This may sound like a complicated process, but it's one that's led to thousands of successful births. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at each step to see how this amazing procedure really works. Each month in a woman's naturally occurring cycle, the pituitary hormones, FSH, which stands for follicle stimulating hormone, and LH, standing for luteinizing hormone, are released. These hormones stimulate the ovary to develop and mature an egg. This egg develops in a fluid-filled sac called a follicle, which continues to grow as the egg matures. Once the brain senses the maturity process is complete, it releases a surge of the hormone LH. This causes the sac to rupture and free the egg for fertilization. In the first step of IVF, similar hormones are introduced to mimic the natural processes of the body, spurring the ovaries to develop and mature eggs, or oocytes. In most cases, injections are done by the patient at home over a period of 10 to 12 days. As the eggs develop, they will be monitored by ultrasounds and blood hormone tests. Egg development is tracked both by the increasing level of hormones in the blood such as estradiol, and by the growth of the follicles in the ovary. Once the ultrasound indicates that the follicles have reached a certain size, the eggs are deemed to be mature. At this point, an injection of human chorionic gonadotropin, abbreviated as HCG, is given, which will cause the final maturation of the eggs. Throughout this period, the thickness and appearance of the uterine lining will also be monitored to ensure the uterus is properly prepared for implantation. Approximately 35 hours after the HCG injection, the eggs are ready to be retrieved. The extraction is performed in a short, outpatient setting under light sedation. Using an ultrasound for guidance, a needle is inserted through the vaginal wall into the ovarian follicles. The fluid in the follicles and the recently matured eggs are aspirated or removed from both ovaries. Eggs are examined in the laboratory for maturation. The eggs are then fertilized by the introduction of sperm into the dish. Alternatively, individual sperm can also be directly injected into the egg in a procedure called intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or put more simply, ICSI. Over the course of five to six days, the embryo keeps dividing and develops into a blastocyst comprised of about 128 cells. While the embryo is growing in the laboratory, the patient will begin hormone supplementation with progesterone, which primes the uterus for implantation. During the transfer process, the embryo is placed on a thin and flexible catheter and introduced into the uterus under ultrasound guidance. The embryo can be transferred on day three or at the blastocyst stage. Within 72 hours of transfer, the embryo will invade the wall of the uterus in a process called implantation. Once implantation occurs, the embryo continues to develop and pregnancy has begun. If there are concerns about genetic abnormalities, a chromosomal test called PGS, which stands for Pre-Implantation Genetic Screening, can be performed on the embryo prior to transfer. A healthy embryo should have 23 pairs of chromosomes, but those with genetic abnormalities can have an extra chromosome, such as trisomy 21, better known as Down syndrome, or can have fewer chromosomes than normal, 
which is incompatible with normal development. Chromosomal abnormalities are a common reason for miscarriage and implantation failure and are more prevalent over the age of 35. Screening of genetic mutations, such as cystic fibrosis, can also be performed by analyzing the cells of the embryo prior to transfer. These tests have the potential to increase the chance of a healthy pregnancy. It's important to remember that despite the complexity of this procedure, IVF has allowed thousands of people to achieve their goal of healthy, successful pregnancies, even after years of infertility. While it may seem like a long journey right now, in just a few months, you too could be well on your way to joining the ever-growing IVF family.